I'd like to say that I was surprised by what happened at Hell in a Cell on Sunday night. I'd like to say that. No, I really wouldn't. Because I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you. And the reality is, is I can't understand for the life of me why so many fans were so stunned, shocked, surprised, outraged. Like, you should have been able to see this coming. You should have known. You really, really should have known. I, I don't comprehend for the life of me where after all of these years and you see the path that WWE has headed down and you see where the product used to be, you see where the product is now, are you really that surprised that they would do something like that shit style of a finish with The Fiend and Seth Rollins in a Hell in a Cell. Why would anybody be shocked or surprised by this? You should know better by now. Really. We should all know better by now. Like, I even came on here and did a video last weekend talking about how I wasn't really going to bother with Hell in a Cell. Because if the company wasn't concerned enough to be bothered with it, why should I? Why should any of you? With all the talk of the big week of wrestling that was last week, you have a Raw, you have an NXT, and then you have a SmackDown, and they're all consumed and focused on all of that. All the while, here's Hell in a Cell, your WWE Network special event, your pay-per-view event, and up to the day of the actual event, You've got all of four announced matches for a three and a half, four damn hour show. If the company couldn't be bothered to slow down and take some time to actually build up the card, what makes you think that this was going to go down a path that you really wanted it to? What makes you think that they had really well thought this out? What makes you think that this was going to result in any type of situation that was going to be advantageous for any character or for any of you as fans. I legitimately don't know. I don't get it, and I don't understand it. I don't. If the company clearly demonstrates to you that they don't care, if the company clearly shows to you that they're not worried about it, why would you think that they're going to be concerned with how they book the damn main events? with arguably their most over character right now. So not surprisingly to me, the match happened, and it was stupid, and all types of suck, and so many people were pissed off about the finish. Like, you're surprised. You got to look at it from the most cynical lens that you possibly can when it comes to WWE today. You must. Because anything else is just a foolhardy exercise. Stop giving them benefit of the doubt that they don't merit, that they don't deserve. Stop sitting there saying, well, let's see how it plays out. No, you don't need to do that crap. And stop using that sheepish defender type of logic. Because it doesn't work. You can blow it out your keister. It just doesn't work. We have seen this time after time after time after time. What the hell makes you think that it was going to be any different this time? And especially when you look and you can clearly see what they are doing with Seth Rollins. I do not care if you like Seth Rollins or not. That is immaterial to the point at hand here. The point at hand is, for all the people that were jumping up and down and pissing and moaning and whining and bitching about the force of Roman Reigns, what in the hell would you call what they're doing with Seth Rollins? This is an example of the company clearly wants to get behind this guy, even though he has given you multiple instances and indications of why that is a terrible, dumb dick idea in 2019, yet they persist. And because the fans are reacting in the way that they are reacting at all, the WWE is only going to stubbornly dig in their heels behind Seth Rollins even more. This is a force. This is Randy Orton 2004 levels of force. Roman Reigns was forced. 
How many times did Roman Reigns beat Brock Lesnar clean? Egg freaking exactly. Seth Rollins did it twice in the same year at back-to-back -back major shows between WrestleMania and damn SummerSlam. It's like they can't help themselves but to serve everybody up on the freaking platter for this lame-ass world champion that they've got. Because Vince has some stubborn need or desire to prove how right he is in the face of all logic and business indicators. That's what this is. Like, imagine all the thousands of finishes that you could potentially come up with for the Hell in a Cell match on Sunday, and that's the one that you come up with. The only finish that would have been worse, literally the only finish that would have been worse, would have been to have Seth Rollins pin the Fiend clean. And they might as well fucking have done that. It's a Hell in a Cell match. You are now insulting fans' intelligence. DQ, stoppage, it doesn't matter. We've seen people thrown off and throw through the Hell in a Cell. We've seen people jump off the top of a Hell in a Cell. But now, now, now we're getting too far. Even though God used to use a sledgehammer. Oh, God. Now we start using a sledgehammer. He's gone too far. It doesn't add cool factor to Seth Rollins. It doesn't do anything for Seth Rollins. And it most certainly doesn't do anything to help the Fiend. I'm on the curb stop of 11 damn million fucking times because that's a good idea, right? Idiots. But not just idiots, WWE. Idiots to anybody that thought that this was going to go any differently than what the hell it did. You can see they are determined to force Seth Rollins down your damn throat. And if you can't see that by now, Ding dong, dumb dicks, I've got news for you. That's exactly what the hell is happening. So wake the hell up. Wake the hell up. And for all the people that were there live in attendance, that sat there and chanted, we want a refund or refund or AEW, I feel absolutely no sympathy for you. Because you were stupid enough to spend the money to buy tickets to go to a goddamn show where the company couldn't even be bothered to announce half of the damn card at a time. You literally went in there blind, not even knowing half of the freaking card. And yet you are surprised that the main event was a freaking abortion of epic proportions. The hell is wrong with you? And what's really sick and twisted about all this after all these years, fans still haven't figured it out. Like, dang! You're chanting, you're booing, you're chanting for a different company, you're chanting for a refund. is like heroin straight into Vince McMahon's veins. Because the WWE and Vince have convinced themselves, because they are so out of touch, because they don't know what the fuck they're doing anymore that they're in the reaction business. Tis better to get some reaction than no reaction at all. So, of course, fans, instead of using decent logic and saying, oh, they're in the reaction business, so the best thing we could do is give them no reaction at all, or even better, not pay the money to go to the damn show live when they haven't bothered to announce half the damn car, which would be, ding dong dong dick, an indicator that this isn't going to go very well. Instead, the fans pay their money, and then they piss and moan and bitch in person. Because that's going to make a difference. Because that's going to help. Because that's going to affect any type of positive change whatsoever. You've been chanting CM Punk for five damn plus years. How's that worked out for you? All the other hijacking, all the other booing, it doesn't do shit. If you want to affect positive change, stop going to the damn shows. And even then, you start to wonder. Doesn't matter. A lot of people have stopped going to the shows, and they still do the same crap anyway. Like, absolutely nothing is fucking wrong here. If you are stupid enough to pay money to go one of these half ass WWE shows, if you don't like something that you see, do nothing. Give them no reaction. 
The WWE in a lot of ways is like the KKK with that. If you ignore them, if you do not give them a reaction, you take away their fuel, the spark, the energy that they need to survive and frankly thrive. But of course, it's so often the case, instead of no reaction, people get all worked up into their emotions and oh, we're going to react and we can't let this stand. And you accomplish nothing. It's like all the idiots that do counter protests to the KKK. Guess what you do? You accomplish nothing and you empower those racist idiots. Stop going. That is the only answer. Your counter protests are stupid. Your chances to try to drown them out is stupid because they are in the reaction business. How ironic, I guess. Not so much. To compare the WWE to the KKK. But at the end of the day, they have convinced themselves, just like the KKK, that they are in the reaction business, and they feed off of your reaction. Good or bad, it does not matter, because they can spin it to whatever purpose they want to. And as long as you continue to go to the shows and pay your money for these half-assed productions, you get exactly what you deserve, and you deserve absolutely no damn sympathy whatsoever. You deserve to be taken to the cleaners. You deserve to be robbed of your hard-earned money and poorly spent money at that. This is what you get for wanting to get, really get behind a character. This is what you get for giving the WWE some benefit of the doubt. This is what you get for thinking they can't possibly be that stupid. Well, once again, they have shown you just how foolish you really are.